And uh, next is uh, with the Small Business Administration. We've got uh, uh, Michael Florey. <coughs> Evening. I thought I should be a little bit late. I had a meeting with the jumper. Um, we need to talk here. Uh, it, it, it's great guy. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about what we do. Um, I don't believe my team of counterparts are here. Okay, good. So I'll, uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. So has everyone registered with FEMA? Okay, excellent. Good. Because if you haven't, I was going to say please register with FEMA first. Um, the Small Business Administration. Let me take a step out of the table ahead. Michael Flores, I'm the lead public information officer for this disaster. Um, what that means is basically I make sure that all of you have the information that you need so you're equipped uh, with the right knowledge to make a good decision. Uh, I've been to about 50 disasters uh, in my 12 years with the agency. So I know what you're going through. I, ha I have a, an understanding of it. Um, you know, I was telling someone before, you know, on Wednesday, Thursday, you were fine. On Sunday, your world has been turned upside down. So I understand it, but I will say this, that we will get through it together. Absolutely. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind it's going to be tough. There's going to be some challenges. Because I like to set the table. I like to tell you guys what's going to be around the corner. You know, there will be some challenges. There will be some starts, some stops. Um, stay the course and definitely have patience. Because this process is going to require patience. You know, the first step is that you're here now. And that's a very important step because you're getting the information that you can take that that will help not only yourselves, but your family, your business, if you, you know, and your employees, if you're a business owner. This truly is about all of us coming together and getting out of it. So let me tell you about how the SBA program works. The first thing you'll do is register with FEMA. FEMA will assist you in the form of a grant. Their cap is $33,000. Depending on um, what they're able to provide to you, any long-term needs after that come through the Small Business Administration. Even though the name says business, we help homeowners, renters, businesses, private nonprofits such as churches. All of that falls under the umbrella of the Small Business Administration. The reason that that happened is because in 1953, the federal government took a look and said, you know what, the, the SBA is already doing lending. So disaster assistance will now fall under that. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. So I want to give an explanation of, of why an SBA guy or a small business guy is up here talking to you about your home or your losses. So that, that's where that came from. Now how we deliver the program is this. If you're a homeowner and you've had significant loss, or loss in general, we go up to $200,000 in the form of a low interest disaster loan. I said the L word, so I know a lot of you don't want to hear loan. But the way that we're going to recover, this is going to be a patchwork of different programs. It's going to be a loan. It's going to be a FEMA grant. It's going to be state programs. So it's incumbent upon you to take a look at everything that you know that's out there and make the best decision for your family. I'm here to present the program. It's up to you to take that away and decide what you want to do to help you recover. So with the program, again, if you're a homeowner, it's up to $200,000. When I say low interest loan, we're looking at a rate of about 1.56%. So again, let me say that one more time. 1.56% in the form of a loan. It says low is 1.56% that you can stretch out up to 30 years if it's a significant loss. If you are a renter, you can go up to $40,000 for personal property. So think of this. If you're a homeowner, you can now go to $240,000 to cover your losses. Now, I, I, we don't care if you have flood insurance, or if you do have flood insurance, well, let me take that back. If you do have flood insurance, we're going to look at what flood insurance doesn't cover. We cover the gap. If you don't have flood insurance, like many people just didn't have it because you, you didn't expect this to happen, especially not to this magnitude, it doesn't matter. I encourage you to come and apply because we'll be the ones that will help you to fill the gap and help you to recover. If you are a business, if there's business owners in here, it's up to two million dollars. And again, that's in the form of low interest loan. And that's roughly about four percent. If you're a private nonprofit or a church, um, it's 2.62%, and that's up to two million dollars. And I say all these numbers because some of them obviously won't apply to everyone in this room, but some of them will. Or some of them will apply to a family member or a friend. And again, that's how we're all gonna get through this. 
We're going to share information. We're going to talk about things. Because I know when you come outside and you, say, and you take a look and you see the debris pile, you're still in the moment. Is that a fair statement? You're still in the moment. So, if, if you, if you're still in the moment. So, a, a federal government employee or official, uh, I understand that. I take that back to uh, the governor's office. I take it to anyone who will listen. Um, you know, we're trying to shine a spotlight on this to make sure everyone gets the help that they can. So, just final things about the program. Again, it's up to 30 years. I talked about the interest rates. If you apply for a loan, and this is a big because if you talk to FEMA and they provide a grant for you and you have significant loss, they're going to refer you to the SBA. So when you hear that, don't think, I, I, I don't want a loan. Please don't do that. Complete the application, even if you don't think you want a loan. Or, you know, because 30 days from now, you might say, hmm, I, I probably should take that loan, right? So it's a first in, first out basis. So what you want to do is apply for the loan. You have 60 days to make a decision. So let's just say you apply for 200000 Right? You're approved for 200000 After you apply, you have 60 days to sit on it and figure out what you want to do. If at some point you say, you know what, I'm handy, I got this guy over here, he's a contractor, he can, you know, he's a good, good man, um, and you say, you know, I can do it for 100000 We'll modify the loan back to 100000 and modify the payments for you. So I don't want the L word to scare anybody away and have you run through the door, because again, it's, it's just another tool. You know, I, I don't want to say to take too much time, but Secondly, if you apply for a loan and you're denied for some reason, you'll get a letter. The letter will explain why you were denied. At that point, we're going to refer you back to FEMA to take a look at other grants assistance. So that will happen. So I just wanted you all to know and have an understanding of the, I call it the circle of life. Register with FEMA, apply with the SBA. If you're denied, you go back to FEMA. If you're not denied and you're approved, which I hope everyone is, you go right down the track with SBA. You can apply at a disaster recovery center, and they're all over Baton Rouge. There's a mega center that opened today at a Celtic. Celtic? What's that? Celtic. Celtic. Um, and that's a very large facility. I didn't know how big it was. Um, also, you can go to a business recovery center if you're a business, and they're all over Baton Rouge as well. But you can go online. You might want to write this down. You can go to sba.gov slash disaster or look for the disaster link on the page. The other thing is you can call us, 1-800-659-2955, say that one more time, 1-800-659-2955. And I'll leave you with this, don't stand in your own way. I mean that with all due respect, but what happens is, this is all fresh, so there's a lot of stress going on, and sometimes you can shut down because there's too much information coming at you. And it's over one. So you can just shut down and say, forget it, I'm done. Please don't do that. Just take a step back, take a deep breath, you know, care for one another, care for your family, take care of each other, and, and look at the systems that's available and it will come out the other side. That was it. Thank you very much.